Hey. So I know I don't usually do this, but I'm learning to edit and I'm learning to do voiceovers. And I'm really inspired by this one YouTuber called Jim Reno. And uh, I think her stuff is really cool and I'm like addicted to like watching her stuff because it's so artistic. So now I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, so today I'm drawing uh, Wei Wu Shen. And he's like my favorite, favorite character in this TV show called The Untamed. Oh my god. And it's based on this um, BL manga. Oh wait, no, it's based on this uh, BL novel written by, I can't remember her name, I'm so sorry. So sorry. But um, yeah, based on this light novel written by this person. Then they got made into like a web Chinese webtoon. And they got made into an anime, and then a live action. And I didn't think I would like live actions, because I f normally hate live actions. They're normally so bad. But like this one is so good. Oh my god, I stand like every single person. I hate the word stand, by the way, but I love... Oh my god. Everyone's hot. Everyone in the show is good looking. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I love that. Everyone should watch it. Anyway, yeah, and, um, I painted this uh, small... Uh, before I forget to talk about the... Uh, <laughs> I painted this small version of Wei Wu Shen from this uh, thing because I need to, I need to practice painting because I'm not good at it. Like I stopped doing it ages ago. I just got this new set of gouache, and yeah, it's like sh it's really hard when you don't have the right brushes. But like honestly, to paint, this is just a tip. You need a good brush. You need like um, not expensive ones, but you need a brush that isn't frayed. You need a set of cheap ones, <laughs> basically. Because the one I get is like a. It's like three pounds or like a five pound set from the works. I'm like, I know no one can go out right now because it's the whole Corona thing, which is insane. But yeah, like I just get that. Just get like a cheap set and it's really good. All you need is something that doesn't fray. Like the, the fucking heads don't just come out every time you like put down a brush stroke. And it's amazing. It's so good what a good brush can do for you. These are the only brushes I use for everything. I use it for acrylics, gouache everything. It sounds like I'm selling brushes now. <laughs> Maybe I should be a salesman. Okay. Oh, the second one. I'm already on the second one. God, I made this video too fast. I, I ever did it with the jump cuts. But okay. Um. Yeah, so in this, uh, I have an aesthetic blog. Where I reblog like a uh, nice references that I can paint. And then this one is just like a volcano. And it's exploding and it's really nice. And I really like the picture. Oh. I love this. Uh, I feel like it started looking better at the beginning. Like right now it looks really nice. It looks like smoke. With all the details in it. All the volcanoes and stuff. And then later it just, later it just... Uh, it just turns into like, it doesn't even look like it. Like, I think this is the beginning of the end. Like, this is when it starts going wrong. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I also learned something important from Jim Reno, which was to not be scared of uh, making your sketchbooks messy because that's literally the whole point. I don't know, I feel like there's this thing where like, if we buy new notebooks, we just don't want to draw in them. But we, but like, that's, that's, the, that's like the opposite of what you're trying to do with a sketchbook. Right, you just draw anything. Like I remember in art, in art school, like even before no, before that I was a better artist. Before art school, yes I was. Yeah, before art school, um, we used to just in sixth form actually, we just used to like have these huge pages and like do whatever. And because it was school, I thought like doodling on the pages would have been like original and like unique, and it was, it was. And then after that, I just stopped doing it because it kind of just wasn't unique anymore. And I'm such a oh my god, I'm such a hipster. I don't like it, but like that's just, oh, that's who I am. I don't like it. But yeah, um, I just stopped doing it. And then like now I'm just looking at it and I'm like, this, the page looks so much better when you write down your thoughts and your feelings while you're having, while you draw, while you paint. Like if, if you, you can't not have thoughts while you paint. Like it's really, even if you think you don't, you do. Just write them down. It's so nice. So nice, at least for me. Very cinematic closing shot of the gouache palette. That I made myself. Thank God I got that before this whole thing happened. Like, I don't think anyone delivers anything anymore. So, yeah, that's a close-up shot. It's a nice close-up shot. Yeah, I really love this new lens. I can just zoom in like all I want, any time, any day. And yeah, I had these really nice washi tapes, and I just didn't use them at all. So I just, I'm just doing it for that. Okay, now, bye. <laughs>